So we have the problem, the equation, y is equal to 2e to the power of 6x minus 5 is a particular solution to which of the following differential equation. And we have these four options. When we have options of differential equations, what we can do is we can find the derivative of the equation that's given, um, or the second derivative if needed, and substitute it to see if it simplifies for the equation to be correct. So for example, if we take this equation and we take the derivative of it, we get y prime is equal to the coefficient we can bring down, e to the x, or e to a power stays the same, so e to the 6x, but then because the power is more than just x, we need to use the chain rule and multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of 6x is 6. And then we can take the derivative of negative 5. The der derivative of any constant goes to 0. So simplifying just a bit, the derivative of y is equal to 12e to the 6x. For our first answer choice, we only have a y prime, we don't have a y double prime, so we could start by substituting into this first one and see if it's correct. So plugging in y prime would be 12e to the 6x, and then bring down the minus 6. We need to multiply that by y, but since we plugged in y prime in terms of x, let's do the same for y and write it as times 2e to the 6x minus 5. And then the next part is minus 30 equals 0. Okay, so now we want to simplify and to see if this equation is true. So sub, um, distributing in our negative 6 to the parentheses, we get, just bring down the 12e to the 6x, Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12, so negative 12e to the 6x. Distributing the negative 6 to the negative 5 makes a negative times a negative as a positive. 6 times 5 is 30, so plus 30. And then I'll bring down the minus 30 equals 0. We'll notice that we have these two terms. This one's positive and this one's negative, and they're the same. So those will cancel. Here we have a plus 30 and a minus 30. So those also cancel, leaving us with a 0 on the left side, and our right side is just 0. So 0 does equal 0, and that is a true equation. So the answer in this case would be letter A. Showing for letter B how we can substitute it in to verify that it's not a correct answer would be subbing in in the same way that we did before. We would have 2 times y prime as our 12e to the 6x for, that we found before, and then minus 12 times y is our 2e to the 6x minus 5. Then we have a plus 5 equals 0. Okay, so distributing 12 times 2 is 24, 24e to the 6x. And then again, minus 24e to the 6x. We need to distribute our negative 12 to our negative 5, which makes plus 60, and then bring down our plus 5 equals 0. So in this case, we do have two terms that cancel, but we're left with 65 is equal to 0, which is not a true statement. So that verifies that letter B is not a correct answer. We could do the same thing for C and D. Try those on your own and see if you get them to be correct answers or not. But they shouldn't be because we did find a correct solution with choice A. Well, I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more similar homework help style problems. If you have a question that you would like to see a video on, feel free to leave that in the comments and I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. Or if it's difficult to leave in the comments, I do have my email listed in the description that you can send it to my email as well. Well, thanks for watching and happy studies.